hello 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 welcome back to my channel it is me it is i it is she it is her it is who it is the the who the rosie rosette rosie rosette who rosie rosette 2020 pal Ooh, did i do that too fast anyway what's going on people oh i need you know what you guys i did buy a fan i don't know where it is i bought two fans anyway um I just want to talk today because I'm just, you know, I'm just feeling a certain type of way. I am. Um, at my job, you know, I don't go to my job and I, I'm not on my phone. You know, I go to work to do my, to do the job and that's it. I clown around, you know, I'm, I, you know, tap people or, you know, I'm, you know, I'm very friendly or whatever, obnoxious or whatever, but everybody knows me. I try and remember everyone's name, whatever, but I, I just don't, I don't want to take advantage of, you know, whatever. I don't go to work to look at YouTube or anything like that. I go to work. Okay. That being said, I'm just going to leave the job or whatever, because I would have to go through too much detail or whatever. And, you know, I don't want to mix job and YouTube or whatever. So, okay, so let's get to personal. So, um, okay, so you guys know I went to Vegas, okay? I just came back with it. But the time before, you know, my best friend and I, whatever, we went and we went to a couple timeshare presentations. That's, that's my thing. Go to Vegas, I do some timeshare things, you know, get my little hundred dollar things, go shopping. Go timeshare thing, you know, go back and forth or whatever. That's what I did the last one. All right. Okay. So in this last timeshare thing, I mean, when I went with my best friend, whatever, friend, whatever, um, we got two vouchers to do future vacations. Okay, I've never really it's almost impossible for you to use those vouchers because it takes forever, you know, for them to give back to you, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so while I was there this last time, I went by myself for my birthday. And, um, I, you know, I told my girl, I was like, hey, don't you, do you have those vouchers or whatever? Because I can't find them. And then she was like, yeah, oh, yeah, let me, you know, let me find them. I was like, okay. So, now granted, I treated her. It wasn't much because, you know, I'm frugal. I'm not going to spend an abundant amount of money or whatever. But it was money, you know, whatever. Um, I only paid hotel and airfare and actually i paid for the hotel which was cheap and she paid for the incidentals or she you know she they put a hold on the card or whatever okay then we kind of like split split the calls while we were there right but it was my gesture okay so i'm just prefacing that <clears throat> so back to the vouchers so you know there was some type of housing thing i there was some type of stimulus housing thing or whatever and um you know i text her hey you know check this out you know hey you might be able to get something look i'm not a hater i want everyone to eat i want everyone to benefit off of anything legally okay okay so she gets back to me she says text me she was like oh i found them she takes a picture of them and she says they expired I look at the picture, it says expire, expires, and there's a blank line. So she said, oh, it expired March 29th. I said, no, that's when we received it. And it doesn't expire until like a year later. <sighs> I think she says, oh. And I'm like, that's the reason why I told you that, you know, I pay for whatever, not to boast to say that I pay for whatever, because it doesn't, you know, really matter. I could have went on my own. She could have went on her own. We could have went together. She could have paid my way. You know, I could have paid her way or whatever. I'm just prefacing that to say it was her birthday. Her mom, you know, passed away. I was like, let's go. Pay for the massage. I'm just feeling a certain type of way. Pay for, you know, in a timeshare, you have to put a deposit down, whatever. You get it back. 
I'm just feeling a certain type of way. And maybe it's me, maybe it's not. I don't I don't know if I'm thinking too much of it. I'm like, now why would she say that it's expired? She can read. She's intelligent. Um I'm just feeling a certain type of way. Like, do you not want me to use the vouchers? Like, does she think that I'm stupid and I can't read? Why would she say? I just, I don't, I just don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But my thing is, you know, it's like, I do for people, but I feel as if at the job, in friendships, in motherhood, I feel like I get taken advantage of. I try my hardest to open up my heart, you know, open up my brain skills, knowledge, or whatever, my resources. I'm always helping people out. You would think that, I'm not asking people, oh, okay, so, okay, at the job, this weekend. You know, this girl was like, you know, because we, we had a slow. I was like, hey, you want, you know, you want to go to lunch or whatever? And she's like, oh, well, you know, it's going to have to be something, you know, good food or healthy food. I was like, okay. She was like, oh, well, I don't have any money. But, you know, if we do go, it's, it's going to have to be something, a healthy food or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. So, you know, I was just like, mm, okay, well, she ain't going to ask another one. She's like, oh, well, um, you know, I don't know. Well, man, you know what? I already got something. Okay. You know, I'm just like, okay. So then, you know, lunchtime came and then I was just like, okay, well, I'm gone. And I was like, are you, you know, to the first time, I was like, are you coming? She's like, yeah, okay, I'll come. You know, she don't have me. I was like, don't worry about it. I got you. Whatever. And I was like, well, you know. I don't know what healthy is to you, whatever, but we can either go Pan and Express or Chipotle, whichever one, whatever. She never said thank you. I don't. It didn't cost her anything to say thank you. I, I bought it, you know, did you want any drinks or whatever? You know, whatever. I I just don't. And then we were talking about someone and I told her about the other girl who didn't say thank you. So, you know, maybe she would have got a hint or whatever. I, don't, I just don't know. People are so weird. Okay. Then, as far as Facebook, so while I was in Vegas this last time, this guy, we've been on Facebook for at least maybe three years, about three years, at least. He says he saw me in Vegas because he took a picture and then I wasn't even paying attention to the outside or whatever. And then I was like, where are you? Whatever. Well, I look outside and it's the same thing that, you know, we're seeing the same thing or whatever. And I was just like, oh, but I think I, I was so tired that I went to sleep or whatever. I got up the next morning, but you know, I didn't really have time or whatever. And then I thought about it. I was like, wait a minute, we're at the same hotel. We're literally, I was 18 stories higher than he was because he was at the pool level. I was at 18 stories ahead. And I was just like, but you know, here I am running around trying to get to this place, whatever. It's hot. You know, whatever. So, I was like, hey, I think we're at the same hotel and I'm right above you. Well, 18 stories higher or whatever. He's like, I know I saw you. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, why didn't you say anything? He was like, oh, because, you know, you're doing you and, you know, and, you know, when I lived in San Francisco, you never came up or whatever. But wait a minute. I'm like 65 miles away from San Francisco. We're both in Vegas at the same hotel. I'm directly over you because, you know, the angle where, because one, I think the night that I realized it, I realized in order for him to take a picture at that angle, we were literally right. I was 18 stories right above him. It's the same, you know what I'm saying? But if I walk past you and you don't say hello, I, maybe it's because he's with his wife. Him and I, we, you know, he's like a little brother to me. But if you can't say hello and I walk past you and we've never met each other, you know, maybe I was looking bad or whatever. I don't care because it's not about 
how it looked or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it looked like I was tired. I didn't want it, you know, because it was hot. And, you know, I was shopping. By the time I got back to the the hotel, I was ready to go and eat and, like, take a nap or something like that. So maybe I had a look on my face. But he could have been like, you know, he could have inboxed me, hey, you know, I just saw you, whatever, you know, let's meet or, you know, something, something. No. See, you know, and he was just like, uh, blah, 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 just BS. I was like, you know what? No problem. Whatever. I listen, if you don't, if you see me, you don't want to say hi. That's the, listen, you ain't even got to worry about it. Okay. That's one. Part. Then it's another one. Now this is a ex way back. This is puppy love like way grammar school whatever anyway he, every morning he says good morning on facebook i you know reply with a good morning almost every morning to the point where i think he was in vegas one other time and he he just stopped posting and you know it was right during covid and i got worried i went through his sister and i was like hey you know can you, is your brother okay or whatever anyway she got I guess she didn't even respond to me. She just gave it to him or whatever, saying, oh, you know, whatever. So this time, so the sister, her son plays for some football team. I think he just signed a $48 million contract. Okay, fine. I'm assuming that they were at the Resort World Hotel. The new hotel is open up in Vegas or whatever, because I can tell by the pictures. So I, you know, like, hey, because I can tell by the pictures that they were in Vegas. I posted, hey, are you guys in Vegas too? Nothing. Nothing. Not that I wanted to hook up or meet up or whatever. I just said, hey, are you guys in Vegas too? Whatever. Nothing. Okay. Birthday came. Never, never wished me happy birthday. Okay, that's fine. Him nor his sister. Okay, that's cool. But don't get back to whatever reality and then act like everything is is fine it just doesn't go like that it, it it just doesn't like if you feel that you whoever you're with or however what is ever whatever's going down if you feel like you can't inbox me or reply whatever guess what keep that same energy on the day-to-day -day. there ain't no way in hell that i am going to be facebooking someone for years on end and then not reply due to something and then come back and act like everything no. people are just weird Hold on a minute. i don't know like there is no way in the world like my bottom bitches okay there's no way in the world that my bottom bitches that you guys, you know, Rosalie, Connie, Lori, my eagle wolf, um, Markayla, Markayla's mother, uh, who else? R Chrissy, Rob Chris. Um, and if I'm forgetting some others, <coughs> I'm trying to think of, <coughs> those are my bot, okay? <coughs> Angela. And, and Anthony they're on Facebook mostly but there's no way in hell or my cousin Elizabeth Simon I'm trying to think of some other ones there's no way in hell that you guys are going to support me through every video or you know people who um, support me on Facebook or people who, who you know like my stuff on Instagram when I had it or when I had my first account I see you in person and I don't say hi. I'm not fake and phony like that. Or I'm not funny. Style, however, whatever. I don't care who I'm with. Well, no, no, no. Because, no, 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 no. Okay. No. For the first time. You know what I'm saying? I do remember I was with my boyfriend or whatever. And then I went to the grocery store or whatever. And then, you know, like my little boyfriend's at the grocery store. I, did, I didn't say anything. And I do remember when I was in Aruba. This guy, he was just like on me. And he was like really big guy. He was like 6'8". 
and he was kind of like very territorial. I was like, dude, we're not in it, really. but he was just on me where I had to <laughs> sneak around, <laughs> whatever. But I remember we were on the beach and we were all there to uh, experience the sunrise. I think it was the last night or whatever. And these guys were trying to talk to me and I was just like, I just didn't want to talk. I just did not want for him to interact, you know, to get into what I was just like, like, please don't say anything to me. You know what I'm saying? But it was because him, it wasn't because I was being funny style, whatever. But I'm just feeling a certain type of way. And then there's people, one other girl, I inboxed her, you know, hey, you know, I know your mom died. Um, I'm kind of busy right now, but, you know, as soon as I think I get this trip over, whatever, let's, you know, connect and let's do something to help you, you know, help you with this transition in your life. Something to that effect. No reply, no birthday wish. No communication or something. There's just nothing. I just, and it's not as if she didn't see it because, well, for one thing, it's almost impossible because I, you know, I'm posting all day or whatever. I don't know. People are just funny style, you know. Um, I can be really funny style. Actually, I, I, I guess I am funny style too, you know. But I don't think I'm fake and phony. I just, you know, I... I want for everyone, whether you're homeless, whether you're a co-worker, whether you're family, a friend, you know, high up, high down, or what I, I just want it all for I'm just not fake and phony. I don't think so. I may be I may be a little funny, funny stuff, but I'm not fake and phony. Now I might be fake or I might be phony, but I'm not fake and phony. I just I just I don't know. I don't know. But I know <sighs> I, you know, I guess people go through things. People, everybody's going through. I'm going through something. I don't know what I'm going through, but I'm going through something. Um, you're going through something. He, she, everyone has their vices. Everyone has their issues. Everyone has their demons, whatever. But I'm just like, damn. Like, really? Is this how, you know, and I'm just, so, I, okay, I am petty now. That's one thing I am. Because I am cancer and I am emotional, whatever. And I do t take things to heart. I'm very passionate about, especially about relationships. You know, if I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship. With, you know, when I'm in a relationship with a man, excuse me. <coughs> I have my sinuses. It's like a nasal drip. Anyway, when I'm in a relationship with a man, you don't have to worry about me cheating. That's, I mean, you may have to worry about a lot of things, okay? Well, you know, whatever. But one thing you don't have to worry about is for me, if I'm in a relationship with someone. Now, if I'm dating someone, that's one thing. But if I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm a cancer, okay? We love, we love hard, we love deep. Um, If I'm your friend, if I'm your ace, listen. If I got 100, you got 50 or 25 or whatever. You see what I'm saying? If I say I'm taking you on a trip, you ain't got to, you know, worry about. I got, listen, I got enough. And I'll tell you, okay, this is how much we got. You know, and I did that. This is how much we got. This is how much I have now. You know, we can, however you want to spend it, that's whatever. But after that, that's it. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't think... I mean, maybe this is karma, you know. Maybe this is bad for all that I did to all the guys that I've been with. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just think that people are just weird. Fake and phony, full of shit, you know what I'm saying? I, and maybe, I, I guess I'm fake, full of, full of shit or whatever. I don't know. But my bottom bitches, y'all ain't got to worry about this shit. I listen I'm just not the one. No. Hey, there, there's no way in hell that I'm going to see one of my bottom bitches in public at the same hotel. And you walk right by me and I'm not going to say anything. I will literally, literally leap over a hotel or a table. Boy, I talk to people I don't even know. 
all them pictures that in Vegas, I know nobody. All them pictures, people came up to me, said something to me. Said something to me, I'm, you know, oh, you're beautiful. You know, I like this. And most of them were like, oh, you're beautiful, whatever. Okay, let's take a picture. You know, these two, um, I think they were drag. whatever um you know one was like oh mommy you are so beautiful my god you're amazing whatever let's take a picture you know we were just having fun or whatever you know someone had birthday or I'll, I'll just you know in conversation we'll be talking um one lady was her birthday it was the day before mine we take a picture her husband take a picture someone in the elevator you know i was coming or something we were talking or whatever i was like hey can you take a picture of me you know what i'm saying so i talk to people that i don't know I don't have a problem talking to someone that I do. Now, if I got a problem with you, you will be invisible. But I'm not going to have a problem with you in person and then get home and get on Facebook and, you know, like your pictures. I just, people are just strange. I, I, I don't know. If I'm your friend, it doesn't matter how I look. If you're my friend, I don't care if you're a bum on the street a crackhead, you know, the president of the United States, a cab driver, a gas station attendant, you know, someone at Wendy's or whatever. Someone getting arrested by the cops. If I know you, I know you. I don't care about what other people think. But you know what? Not everyone's like me. Not everyone's like me. It's, it's okay. But if I'm your friend, listen, if you're going through, we're going through it together. Well, not jail. I'm not, I'm not doing jail for nobody. But that's why I don't deal with a lot of people. Because they want to go with the crowd. And this is a segue on to my next video where I have to talk about Kevin Samuels. So I'm going to leave you guys with this. And um, I will see you guys next time. And listen, if you ever guys, if, if anyone ever thinks that I'm fake and phony, please drop it in the comments because I love constructive criticism. And I'm not trying to be fake and phony, but if in any way that you guys feel that I am or I have been or I will be or whatever, let me know. Let me know. Let me know because maybe I'm reading too much into this. I don't know. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.